someone uh, I know personally. I ran across some uh, an interview she did. She did with Soft White Underbelly. So shout out him. And uh, she she said she you know attended a Diddy party before. So I guess she mentioned this in a in a previous interview with him, but touched on it, but didn't go into depth. So run a clip. Interview, and you mentioned something about. I accidentally mentioned it too. Like it slipped out. About P. Diddy. About P. Diddy. You went to one of his parties. Yeah. Crazy party. And uh, he's in the news now because of all the scandal. And they didn't believe me. But when it started, like, when it started coming out, people were like mentioning me, like, you all right, were stop right there. So, so she said even before he uh, came down, well, the, the indictment came down that she attended a Diddy party. I didn't really pay too much t to that first interview where she touched on it, but didn't go into depth. And she said, people said that she was a liar back then, or X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. So, uh, hmm. So, so, uh, okay, I, 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 I got another clip, and she kind of described her experience there at the Diddy party. And, uh, and this the clip. And it's like, a demon. I'm telling you, like this dark spirit, like he possessing you as he's looking at you. That power, that control. So I'm like, I read the art of seduction, motherfucker. I know what you're doing. And you're trying to really seduce me right now. And oh, take a drink. Oh no. Do this, do that. Go in there. Like it's just not nothing. And I wanna know why me go in the house and why not the girl? So now you're picking and choosing. So it's fishy to me. So when all this stuff started coming out, I was like, I knew I was right. I knew it. Like, it ain't no doubt about that P. Diddy was doing all that. And like I say, I don't judge because I've been around people doing cocaine. And, but these hard drugs that they was doing and just, I ain't going to lie, it was orgies and stuff going on. So all of this stuff going on, I'm like, why is people doing stuff all in the open? Like, that's just offending me and assaulting me, period, because where am I at? I didn't sign up for this. All and right, how can I it. really? All right. Now, okay, all right, in the past, Tania shared a story with me where she was nearly sex trafficked. And uh, she said she met somebody that was in a position of power, which she mentioned in this interview, and you go check the whole interview out with Soft White, you know what I mean? Because I ain't about to play the whole thing. So now she said to me, that she met this dude, and then, you know, they went, I believe she said to Miami or whatever state, heard some other girls. And then when she was ready to leave and go back, because she wasn't expecting to stay that long, he was talking about they going to another state or out the country or something like that, right? And that's when she said, okay, now this is getting, you know what I'm saying? So, so... My first thought was, go to Cuba. Oh, you, oh, you got a passport? That, that, that's what I thought. So I'm like, she said this dude was some type of prince or something. I don't know if he lied. He might have got a gang of bread and just, he looked foreign and just said that. I don't know. But she never brought the P. Diddy part, part up with me. But she did. What she brought up in this interview, she told me part of that. You feel me? I will say that. She told me that she was nearly sex trafficked. And that she had to like kind of escape and try to make it back to the to, to to California, you know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't in her plans to go other places after where she was at. She said the Diddy party was uncomfortable. X Y and Z X Y and Z. What I say is you got to take what a lot of these females saying after uh, the indictment came down with a grain of salt, because. Is a lot of people either looking for attention or a payday, and then it, there is a lot of victims. You know what I'm saying? Or they might feel not saying why they might feel empowered because somebody else spoke out. And now they want they they could tell a story. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to ever uh, be uh, act like I uh, I don't uh, feel where, where where a woman come from that that been through things like that. You know what I'm saying? 
But what I could say, she told me 30% of what this uh, interview talking about. She told me this, this before, and it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say this, man. I hope uh, when it comes to uh, hollering about this, 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 this third, this the third uh, bond hearing coming up. I hope they friend. You know what I'm saying? I think he really needs some help. And I hope he, uh, if he ever overcome this situation, he could he could go seek that help. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard to believe that somebody that got that much power, why you want to take and boss somebody around for some sex and you could you could have it your way? But you know what I mean? I can't put my myself in that mind state because I don't get down like that, so I can't say. You know what I'm saying? But on to a more positive note. I want to I want to give Kim Kardashian her flowers because ever since she started this uh, prison reform type thing, helping people get back to the streets, she been doing her thing and knocking down doors. You know what I mean? And I I, res I respect that. You know what I mean? And uh, it ain't like she come from our walk of life, so I want to know what made her interested in wanting to get into this in the first place. So I commend her since she started. She helped seventeen people get free. I think it's called the First Step Act. You know what I mean? It became a place when Trump was in office. And uh, it's a lady, Alice Marie Johnson, I believe. She helped her get out. She uh, served 21 years, but she got sentenced to a life sentence. And she was a first-time offender on a drug charge. You know what I mean? And she helped her get back to the streets. And now... She looking into the Menendez brothers, you know what I mean? And uh trying to help them get back. And they got life without parole. So they never supposed to see the light of day. And they was, I believe, sentenced in 1996 because they killed their parents or a parent or parents, I believe. But they have they reasons to why they supposed to did that to their parents. And they I think they had a cry out for help or talk to a ther therapist beforehand. So I think Kim sees some loopholes in a case and she try to she trying to help the Menendez brothers get back to the streets. Whether people agree with them being free again, you know, tomato, tomato. I, I don't know. I just I'm not with the uh, justice system. So I commend Kim, man. I ended on that note because we just can't diddy, 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 diddy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Kim. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh. What else I got for y'all, man? I'm a, I think I'm gonna wrap it up like that, man. And the oh yeah, I'm gonna say this: this last court date that that uh, Puffy attended, it was reported he came in, he hugged his attorneys, he was waving at his his kids and his mom, he was smiling. So you know, what I mean, I've been in jail many times, and you know, I come to hair, court with a haircut, I put on my fresh blues, I try to look the best I can for my family members, because even if I'm stressing, I don't want they don't know I'm stressing because, you know, that energy rub off. You know, I want them to know I'm all right so they can feel all right. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So he came in there in high spirits, it sound like. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what you can't let them people know that you that they, they breaking you down, period. You know what I'm saying? So, look, bro, I'm going to wrap it up like that. I want everybody to keep tapping into the, the Richard Hart podcast. Uh, check us out everywhere you can click. Spotify, Google. Uh, 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 Amazon, uh, iHeart, uh, YouTube, got audio and uh, video now, you know what I'm saying, uh, check out my personal YouTube channel, Morals Over Money 92, I know I keep saying it, I'm about to start knocking out more content, adding to that, I want y'all to support everybody on the Street TV YouTube channel, not just Rachel Hart Podcast, you got Facts Over Feelings, Latin Affiliate, Edit, uh, 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 Streets and Scholars, uh, Straight Politics, and we've been banging out doors, covering everything, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? The uh, Richard Hart podcast, Twitter. I mean, not Twitter, in uh, Instagram. I just want y'all to follow up and support. And you know what I'm saying? It's the Richard Hart podcast, man. Everyone, everybody stay safe, dangerous, however you're living out there, bro.